Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in, and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below, along with that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And by the way, I upload new videos every week. Today here on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a little something that I've learned along the way about how to create an end card an intro or an outro, however you want to call it, but how to create the end card that you see at the end of your YouTube, at the end of YouTube videos, how to personalize that. Um, it's not difficult to do and it's, uh, it's really quite easy to do. You can use PowerPoint, you can use Pixlr, you can use PicMonkey, you can even use the editors that you use to create your videos, to edit your videos with. But today I'm gonna to show you how I got some images from Google and created an end card on PowerPoint. I then took that PowerPoint, animated it, and saved it as a video so that I will upload this into the editor and make it a part of the video that I post to YouTube. It can say thank you, thanks for watching, come back again, have a great day. It can be as simple or as detailed and complex and fun as you'd like it to be. But like I said, today I'm gonna keep it simple. So let's get started. Let's get started making an in card or an outro for your YouTube channel using PowerPoint. So I go into PowerPoint. Now I'm in PowerPoint and I start with a blank slide. Now the first thing you want to do is of course you got to have an idea what you want to use. I tend to kind of keep it simple. You can make it as extravagant or as simple as you want. You can use PowerPoint, you can use Pixlr, you can use PicMonkey. There's several different types of uh, platforms out there that you can use to make your um, your in card or your outro. So the first thing I want to do is now once I've got PowerPoint up and I got a blank slide, now I need to go over to Google. I want to get a subscribe PNG. A PNG is whatever image that you pick. It comes on a transparent, a non-existent background. So you get just the item that you're looking for. So if you want this subscribe button here, you get just that subscribe button and not the white part that surrounds it when you bring it over. So when you're looking for something without a background, PNG is the is what you should be looking for. Now don't ask me what PNG stands for. I guess we could look that up if you want to, but <clears throat> the PNG is the when you're getting an image that has no background. So then you kind of scroll through here and look for the image that it seems interesting to you and I like that one and you'll notice see how it has that pixelated background It's telling you there's no background to it and that's what you're looking for so then I right click on that I copy that image close this go back into PowerPoint into my blank slide right I'm gonna right click on my page I'm gonna um, use the destination theme and I'm gonna paste it Now you wanna resize this, cause it's kinda of large. It's gonna come over fairly big. Um, you click on that, um, you click on the subscribe image and you look at the size. And this happens to be uh, 1.79 by 5.1, which is still a tad bit large. You don't really want it to be that big. Now understand you can always um, resize this once you get it into your um, editor, when you're actually editing your video before you export it to YouTube, you can always size it and scale it according to what's uh, what you need in your particular video. But for purposes here, I don't want to make it too small. I want you to still be able to see it. You know, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to reduce my slide here so that we can see the actual slide. Now you see that box. You see this box here. That's the actual, that's my space that I'm working with. I'm working within this box. That's going to be the frame that I put my subscribe in. This is going to be animated. So I'm going to make it just a little bit larger. I made it a little too small. We'll do it just like that. Then I need a text box. I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to insert a text box. 
and I'm going to put that text box here at the top and I'm going to say um, I'm going to say thank you thank you for watching exclamation point now I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to make it whatever font you use I tend to keep my font the same because it helps with branding purposes so I tend to use the same font throughout all my videos for the most part. And then we're gonna take this up to about, mm, I'd say about 60. I think 60 is good. Open that up, see if we can get it to go across the whole page. Mm, might need to bring it down a hair. Might be able to take it to 50. Hold on. I'm going to change that to about 57. There we go. So I changed that to about 57. Now for me, I don't particularly want it black. <clears throat> I want to change the font color. I'm probably going to try and make this blend here. So I'm going to do something like a... I don't know, maybe I'll try and do a gradient. So let me go here. I'm gonna put shadow on it. Okay, now I'm gonna make this gradient to match the subscribe box here. So I'm gonna go into gradient. You go into, you have to format it. You click on the, the um, you click on the item you click on format, you click on gradient, you go in, find your gradient color that you want to work with. Those are the colors that I'm trying to work with. Um, I'm trying to mimic the same color scheme that's down here in the subscribe button. I'm trying to put it into, I'm trying to match that with a thank you for watching. And I think that's pretty good. I like that, and I think, however, I do want to change this and say thanks for watching. Okay. And at this point, you can add whatever you want to add in there, whatever you need to add to make it what you want to make it. You know, after you've uploaded your you, your video to YouTube and you're in Creator Studio and you need to add your, and you want to add in cards, you can do the two in cards with the button in the center, or you can do the four in cards, however you want to set it up. This is just one option that you can use to help you to do that. Now, I want to add one more thing. I want to go back into Google. And this time I am looking for the notification bell. We're always asking them to hit the notification bell. So I'm looking for one that looks like Taco Bell. Um, I'm looking for a notification bell and I believe the notification bell is black or it could be anything that you want it to be that's the great thing with this once you find uh, um I'm gonna use this one here because I like it so I'm gonna copy that image and I'm gonna put it in my PowerPoint presentation so I'm going to close this out because we've changed the wording and I'm going to paste it in keeping the source formatting format formatting and I'm going to just drop my little notification bell um, right there I'm thinking however 
I'm going to format that. I'm going to change the color <clears throat> on the bell. I'd like it to be a little more, um, that works for me. Now, <clears throat> let me close that. So again, we went over to Google. We got a PNG. We got a subscribe PNG because we want the ones without a background. So we copied that. We picked the subscribe image of our choice that was a PNG that had no background. We right clicked on that, we copied it, we brought it over to PowerPoint and pasted it into a blank slide. Then we got a text box while we were in PowerPoint and we typed in, thanks for what? You know, it says, thanks. This says, thanks for watching. That's why it was so big, I couldn't figure out why. So I'm gonna make this bigger, cause I can. Do 60 here. There we go, thanks for watching, right? And, uh, we went into the, um, we inserted a text box and we typed in what our saying that we wanted here. Thanks for watching, come back next week. Um, don't forget to subscribe, whatever it is that you want to say, whatever you want your message to be, you insert that in your text box right here. Now we wanted this text to mimic the um, subscribe button. So that's why I did a gradient effect on my text to, um, to copy what I had here in my subscribe button just to make some cohesiveness, just to kind of make everything fit together, flow together. And then I put my little notification bell over here to the right, offset it just a little bit, still leaving enough space here in the middle to add your, um, your in card boxes, whatever previous videos that you have currently up on YouTube, they can be added here when you actually go into creator studio prior to you publishing it to, um, prior to you publishing it, posting it. Now, I want to, once I do that, now I wanna animate it. So I'm gonna go into animation. I'm gonna close the background. I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna go into animation. And I think I wanna do a color pulse. Yeah, I like that. Let me preview that. Watch the words, thanks for watching. That's what it's gonna do. Or I can have it do just a pulse. Ah, uh, that's what I'm looking for. That's what's going to happen. So um, when your video gets to this card, the first thing it's gonna do is pulse that thanks for watching. Then the second thing you'd want to do, you can have this fly in, you can have it appear, you can have it fade in, you can have it swipe. Um, I don't know, you can have it, I don't know if I want it to appear or I want it to fly in. Let's see what fly in looks like. Oh, so you can have it fly in, you can have it float in, you can have it split. I kind of like that, I like that one. You can have that split. And then this item here, I wanted to do what? What is that? Hmm, I don't like that. Hmm. Spin. No. Oh, here we go. We wanted to teeter. You see that? That was a, a really subtle teeter, but teeter. Or you can have it swivel. I think I'm gonna have it teeter. Then you go into your animation pane. And this over here, this box over here is gonna tell you, turn it a little bit. It's gonna tell you
this box over here is going to tell you what you have going on over here. It's going to tell you what's happening with uh, animation one, animation two, and animation three. Now I want to add one more animation because I want to go back to um, let's see. Well, let's see what we have first. Let me play what we have. This is what's going to happen. Did you see that? Let me do it again so you can see. I like that. Peter. Now I did want to change the effects on the teeter, if I can. I don't want to delay um, one second. The duration is, is fast. I want to change it to medium. I want it to, well actually, you know what? I don't want to change it to medium. I want to leave it as, um, maybe I should change it to very fast and then I'll have it repeat. Mm. Four times. That's what we want. Okay, now take a look. They're, they're not very, you know, it's, it's subtle. So I'm going to hit the preview button. We're going to start with thanks for watching. Then we'll go to the subscribe. Then we'll go to the bell. This is what's actually going to happen when your video plays. Your in card. Pulse slide and that's the teeter you can even have it make a sound if you choose to I don't particularly want to because I usually have music playing in the back of mine so you wouldn't hear it anyway or you can even add it as an overlay once you get it into your editor if you want it to have more sound that's probably where I would add the sound if I wanted sound I would add a bell sound as an overlay uh, audio in your editor so yeah, that's it. Or you don't have to have them. You don't have to um, have any in card videos appear on this outro at all if you choose. But I, I kind of like it there because it gives that person a reminder of other videos that you have in your playlist for them to go and take a look at. Right there. Now we're going to preview it. Go back in the animation. There. We want to preview the whole thing. This is what it's going to look like once you publish. Once you've got your animation set up, once you once you've got your your slide set up the way you want it, and we've got our animation one, animation two, and animation three. Now we need to go through. Of course, you want to save it to wherever you need to save it to, so you can pull this clip into your uh, editor. Your you save it, then you're going to go into, once you save it, then you're going to hit export. Can I cannot see that? There you go. Once you save it, then you're going to hit export. Then you're going to go create a video. And then you, it's going to ask you for your presentation quality. Of course, you want to do 1920 by 1080 because that's usually what we use on YouTube. So you want to click on that. Then how long do you want the slide to last? Um, I usually do my end cards for about 11 seconds, but it just all depends on how long you want that end card to be. I, again, like I said, typically use 11 seconds and then you click create video. Then uh, again, you've dated it, you, and then you save it. And that's it. It's now ready to be a part. It's now ready to be a part of your, um, to be added to your editor, to be added to your video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video on how to create in cards slash outros. I just thought I'd take this moment to share with you some of the things I've learned along the way. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Again, thanks for watching. You have a blessed day and I'll see you next week. Or at least I'll talk to you next week. Bye.